Hi, in this video we'll be looking at how to add summary details to a report. So here's my report, a uh, stack summary that I've already done and uh, we can just open this report to see what is here. So we have item name, stock number, item number, unit price and quantity. If we want to get a summary detail showing the totals for all the unit prices, all we would need to do is right click on this report and we'll go to design view and uh, here we can see all the different items that we're working with in terms of we have our labels and our actual data and uh, for this unit price we're going to apply the totals option here that we've seen here and uh, once we click on totals we have a drop down list we're seeing some average count records max min etc we can apply any one of these functions here I'm gonna apply some and right away you notice that it gives us this little uh, box right here containing a formula that calculates your scene here similar to what you would have done in Excel equal sum and your scene unit price in brackets here square brackets and also you have your normal brackets as well this is just applying the formula to find the totals for unit price if we should save the changes here and uh, we're just going to right click save and we can also go to report view you will now notice that there is a value here for the totals that we're seeing for unit prices if we want to add a label to this we can right click go back to design view and uh, we can look here in our controls section or grouping of our design this is report design tools you're seeing design arrange format and page setup all of these are options that we have to work with and here in our control section we have an option for label we can go ahead and just click here um, click on labels and then we can add we can call this totals or total unit price alright so we can do a number of things with this if we want to we can go to on the report design tools here go to format and we could change the font well we could change we could make it bold we could change the font color here uh, we could change the font as well or right, let's change it to no that one is a little bit okay let's change it to let's see what is here Arial, good all right and uh, you can apply italic I think that's about it let's just see how it looks here so I'm gonna move this a little bit closer here give some space here we go good all right so I'm gonna save right click save and go back to report view and you're now seeing here a total unit price and this is our value for the total you can make this as, as pretty as you so desire so this is basically it for this video hope that you learned something and if you do or did then you can click on the like button and uh, remember to leave a comment and you can subscribe for free as well until next time thanks for watching